from 161st Street here in the Bronx. MLB The Show's got baseball from Yankee Stadium. We've got an AL East contest tonight between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. Baltimore come in as losers in their last nine games. They'll try to prevent that streak from reaching double digits next. Jamison Tyon will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Well, we now don't have high-scoring games, and... Uh, this is the end of February. And as the Yankees get started here and tonight, guys, hear, they've been playing some pretty good baseball the flavors. They've but won six of their no last eight games. Yeah, like Matty, this team is starting to really come together. They won um, last night. They're playing really nice. I expect much more. We're gonna do like today. fast counts here. Uh, full count now uh, for the Orioles center speed fielder. the game up. I don't like editing all the time here. But it's the end of February. My voice is getting a little bit better. Don't have a lot of energy, but I seem to be getting a little bit better. And he lays off ball four. So and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. I don't that know. Is not I, the way he wanted to start I off. Feel this a little happening. stronger. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter, but it's uh, even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute I think it's burner, March 12th. I'm not really sure. I think it's around 12th. It might be 12th Next or 13th. Next up is Jumai Jones. Where I actually and have to see to get if I am cancer plate. free. It's been so. a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. So we'll have to see what's going on and. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, doing space crew after this. One, one home. Takes a pitch for strike number two. And um, do a space crew, and I think I'm going to play Mass Mullins Effect. I've never played Mass first. Effect. Nobody I'm out. not really a big. Uh, Runner goes for second. Pitch inside the throw. Is there and he's out trying to swipe second. Wow, nice Mullins got caught stealing. Wow, that's a big time throw right there, and it's a tall task to throw him out stealing the back. But he got rid of it quickly, and it was a good job down there. That was a quick easy tag. throw out. Have to feel good about that one. But uh, yeah, and I think I'm playing two. Mass Effect. I I've never played it before. Uh, the only thing I know about it is it's like our game time um, temperature here tonight, and it probably won't get a whole lot cooler than that. And I feel like um, the only thing I really know about it is now the three that and two it, uh, it's sort of like uh, full count still. Well, what I've heard is that Mass Effect is just like for teenage boys the who wanted to see lesbian two. sex with all those romance options. I Lifting probably won't be one who Judge does on the romance horse. options, but um, I just want to see out. what it's like. Again, I'm not a really big RPG fan. And now the I like the, for the I like Fallout World. One and Two Anybody a lot better than Three and Four Matt, because they're modern. For better results from Ryan Mountcastle today, um, I thought they might get a lot more production out of him this year. But I look at the numbers but, uh, with runners in scoring position, and his batting average is less than 250 in those spots. If you're a guy expected to drive in runs, a lot more you're going to have to hit a lot better than that. Um, RPGs. Down around the knees there, taken for so, a strike. Um, which just basically has like the, the first person shooter aspect, but it doesn't really do it that well. Just you know, started it's, here it's in the a Bronx. poor first person shooter put into an RPG. And uh, I've heard and that about away. Um, Mass Effect as well, but I've heard it's got a good story, so uh, and good characters, so I'm interested to do that. So those are the two things I'll be playing. Got him swinging, and that will end We're the done end. with the. Uh, we're done with FIFA. I think I have a couple of Scottish games going. Uh, but other than that, that's gone. FIFA's gone. And then here with uh, MLB, I don't know what's going to happen. They got a new version. 
coming Dylan out. Tate. Will be the for and the they had nothing contest. about franchise and on that new version. Hey, this so guy's I done doubt a I'll be playing it. Job on the year, keeping the opponent's batting average down. Um, Both but we'll probably give this little a, a this rest. One, hitting under 250 against this guy. We'll probably give He's MLB a rest. I know, uh, judging by the watch time and analytics, nobody watches it anyways. But, uh, and I get it. It's it's an hour long video. Oh, the Yankee Stadium broadcast is way out at the center field. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Guys, the Orioles as they begin play here tonight, boy, they are really in need of something to go their way. Yeah, we've lost in nine in a row. Nine in a row. Yeah, Maddie, if they're gonna find any way to dig themselves out of this current losing streak, then they're gonna have to downshift a little bit. Do the little things right. Play I mean, we haven't gotten blown sad. out. Play good defense. Turn double plays. Don't give the other team extra. We play out. great defense. And then somebody hit a gapper in a big spot. But our offense just has been faltering. Except for Chris Davis, who seems to want to go out on a high note in his last month in Major League Baseball. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on DJ LeMahieu. He leads the team in batting average right now, and it seems like every time he goes to the plate, he's getting a knock. Obviously, that's not the case, but these guys really rely on him for his consistency and the spark oh, he provides. And Matt, the bat Matt Olson has really come into the box now. Brett Gardner. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Uh, come on fire late because you could, like you heard, the Yankees are on a roll now, and they might get to 500. But Aaron Boone really needs to be fired. This is even two and two. for a Yankee team. Faces this is unacceptable. Um, but again, this they have they have the walk, strikeout, or home run roster still in effect, including Giancarlo's. Uh, Stanton as the big one and Brett Gardner has really become two. just a, a, a home runner strikeout walk attack. guy too yeah, that was really well he used to be an all around the player but the older he's gotten it's just you think it's fastball middle in then it starts bearing in on your back leg and unless you hit it out front there's nothing much you can do with that stepping in now Aaron Judge Aaron Judge batting and second. Good job there to lay off. And it's ball takes a walk. He becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Batting four. And what we're going to do here. First with two yeah. away. And that brings in the big power oh, yeah. hitting first baseman. Stream Madison. right. Oop, stream right. And then we're going to play him deep. Shift right. Oh, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, sorry about that. Double play, yes, double play extreme right. Deep straight right. Okay. Well with the power bat up at the plate, the manager wisely signals his outfielders to back off. Don't want anything over their heads here. One and Taken two. and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. We can try to get him down the outside corner. Way and I did and missed for the third out. Not Good much job. of a chance at hitting that. And so, yeah, this is going a lot quicker with the uh, All set for thing. The start you see Chris inning. Davis, he's batting 171 now. Chris Davis. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' first baseman. So. He's coming alive a little bit. Now the 2-1 pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Mm -hmm. Hey boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. Ooh, the Phillies the beat the Mets. Power, They're trying to stay in eight. there. Oh, they really punch him up on that one. He and Chris Davis. For the first out. Really Another one of those on walk right strike out our homer the guys. Best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Standing in now, DJ Stewart. Popped up, Urshela is calling for it. Oh, Very Urshela. There. They're too to start what the a inning. gold glove play over there, third. That is it. The catcher, number 36. And I'm going to keep Adley. Stewart up here for about a week. Adley Rutschman digging but if he in doesn't now. really he make any progress, I'm bringing Money Marikami back up. He Still was slumping. For first hit in the ball game. 
one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. And Rushman a number one pick coming in with big expectations. I'm sure Oriole fans are disappointed but they really got to understand it's a big jump coming to the big leagues for most players. Some you know, some come in and they set the world on fire and then next year when uh, teams First time he when teams out figure them out, they have that sophomore slump, as it's Another called. Two -two offering. And I could have walked. I could have walked right now. And I've been swinging at a bunch of balls outside the strike zone. Hit down the third baseline. And there we go. And the There's a base hit. As that's through for a two-out hit. Hey, that's a nice job by the batter right there. Left-handed batter going down the third baseline. You don't see that happen too often. A lot of things have to go right. Well, Rushman is a whole field kind of guy. There's different There's different types of players. There's guys that go opposite field, and usually that just means they're always late on fastballs. Uh, and there's... Tyler Nevin. And there's guys that pull the ball, which means they they basically keyhole. And keyhole means that they're just looking for fastballs. That's what I used to do when I played. I would just keyhole fastballs. And when they threw me, and I was a switch hitter. And when they would uh, throw me something on the outside of the plate, i just go the opposite way. And left handed his righty lefty split. So I would hit double out so far this season. And if I happened to get on top one of one pitch. of them and I pulled it, uh, I'd get a double on the right center field gap. And then when I bat it right handed against left handers, I could really pull the ball. I was a pull hitter from the right side. And I actually I had more power that way, but for some reason I did not um, I didn't have a lot of good back control. I had more back control batting left-handed. And that came into fruition last year when I had a friend and she played guitar and I said, oh, I never learned how to really, you know, I played drums, but I really, uh, I really can never get guitar. I don't know why. And she goes, oh, no. Oh, th that's that's only going to be a double. That's okay. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. But uh, so she said, uh, right well, you, position here to kick off you the told me that uh, check out the ranking on the team leaderboard. You can see that that gives him an even 20 now on the campaign. There you go. Boom. You told me that uh, like at kindergarten they t they made you from left-handed to right-handed. Right, so she goes, why don't you try to play guitar left-handed? Um, and yeah, so I've been trying to play guitar left-handed and I've been doing a lot better. A lot better. Now here's another player that's really... Um, been part of the success for the Yankees. Barnhart was injured, but as soon as he came back from the from the injured list, he's been on fire. So, well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good shot up with the three-two changeup. Oh, and like I said, he's on fire. Koji was on fire. A two-run blast to straight away right field. Sixth home run on the season for him. Yankees picked him up for the Reds. They got uh, the they traded uh, at, um, Big swing Chapman, right there. their closer. A bit of and Chad Green has been ten work. times now more successful than Chapman as a closer for the Yankees. So. He's got to start throwing a lot more strikes. Oh, and bye-bye, Birdie. Every stitch up as that one, without a doubt, is gone. And the Yankees love Matt Olson. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Number 13 for him on the year. And that'll stake the Yankees to a 5-0 lead now.
Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. Yep. All right, we're not going to do a mound visit yet. Into the box now, Giancarlo Stanton. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Get back up the middle. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. I really don't know why those are infield nice singles. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. And now the skipper wants to play him to pull. He's given the signal to shift his oh. outfielders to the left side. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's All right. more about now that we're the now we're going to do a mound right visit. Now, think Hold about on. This Boy, this has been a tough that one for him so far. Hard. Seventh hit of the game already. They're really making All right. it work. Yamaguchi's got to warm up. Dustin Pedroia says it's a laser show. And now in the box, Tucker Barnhart. Can do a mound visit so here. Far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. All Stanley right. On second, Urshela on at first with nobody out. Expecting the ball to be pulled quite possibly. It looks like the outfielders will shift to the right now. Oh boy, and this is not good. Oh, field. but I think a bad move. And he will beat the tag. Get out of here, really? Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, D World. Home run earlier in the night. Oh, freaking Yankees are gonna sweep us. Yeah, you drive to the park every day. He did, he got his hand in there. Look at that. Oh, nice job. That's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bond, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. To the plate now, Freddie Galvis. And this one's in the dirt. Throw over to third here. And it's too late as he's All in there. Right. So now two men in scoring position. Four runs here in this half inning. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Why didn't you grab that tape? All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Here comes the Baltimore skipper out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Shun Yamaguchi is going to come on to pitch here and in just the third inning you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. <sighs> Didn't happen in this one lasting only two innings. A lot of outs yet to get from this bullpen. Here comes the one two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right. Bye bye. And it's gone. As they add still another. Good God. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Number 17 for him on the season as they've widened this lead to eight now. And he turns this one around high and deep to center. Come on, first home run. Oh! Nice catch on the track. Aaron Judge the hits the wall. Look at that. The three of us returned with more Wednesday night Bam! After this. Wow. And stepping in, Tucker Barnhart. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Finally, a catcher, a catcher the Yankees need it. And the Reds, actually, with Tyler Stevenson, he's doing really well as a 
no longer platooning. And there's home run number two. Wow. And the Yankee fans getting their money's worth today. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Barnhart recovers and maybe some miscommunication Whoa. there as the throw zips right by him. Well, that's now always that, the danger when you've got a lead that's this big. You know there's not a lot of doubt about the outcome of the game, so you lose focus a little bit in the field. And sometimes as a player, you try to trick yourself into playing like it's a close game so you stay sharp. And guess who's not going to try a stolen base here? They've run out there in this one. The 1-1. One, one. There's a swing and a oh come on! Field. Looking up is the center fielder. Out of here into the visitors bullpen. The judge has been hurt a, a good portion of the year. That's why he only has a nine homers. Home run there for Aaron Judge. Home run number nine on the year as they just continue to pour it on here. That's why you got to pay attention in the on-deck circle. He was calibrating his heater right there, checking out the off-speed stuff, and he didn't wait around. First time he's seeing him, didn't matter. He took him deep. There's nothing to so calibrate. To oh, my God. Right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back Holy moly. Run. A solo shot that time for Matt Olson. His second of the game as the blowout continues. Guys, do you believe what we're seeing here today? With six home runs so far, this lineup is turning in a performance for the ages at the plate. Matty, this is crazy. Dan, what does the pitching coach say at this point? Right now, d the only thing he can say is pick up that bullpen phone and look for reinforcements because this has gotten really ugly, and this is a nightmare for a pitching coach. Now the 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Here's a pop-up now. Davis. All right, Davis. Got it for the first out of the inning. Good gravy. The batter, number 29. Now at the plate, here is Gio Urshela. Flew out last time up. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Got to be center kidding me. Looking up, still oh, my God. Seven homers. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Number 17 for him on the season as this lead got even wider. But I doubt the Yankees are last in home runs now. Or the bottom. So they're, they're not last. I know they're not last. Today as they but they were towards the bottom. Seventh home run of the game. Dan, I can only speak from my own past experiences. When the flags are blowing out, you want as many at bats as you can. That's exactly it what is windy today. You know, D-Row, this is always a nightmare for a pitcher. Not only is this a good hitting ballpark, but the wind blows out on top of it. This is the last place you want to be a pitcher at. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Adam Kolarik. Come on to take over on the mound now. And Might as well do our closer. We've lost. We, this is our tenth stretch. loss in a row, so Austin he hasn't gotten Hayes any work. We'll also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch, and he fouls this one off. All right. Good bite to that sinker. As there we go. Swing through it for route number two. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. The you can't 13. spot a sinker Short in a better stop. location because Ready. even if you do get the bat on the Galvin. ball, there's not a whole lot you could do with that. Textbook sinker.
Standing in now, Freddie Galvis. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. As we head toward a conclusion in this one, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah, the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs, I mean, strewn throughout the line, it screams to the modern day of baseball. The three true outcomes, these guys aren't worried about it. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. So they get three runs here, all coming via solo home runs. We played eight full. The Yankees lead this one 12 to nothing. Pathetic. Pathetic. Here's Chris Davis now, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And he'll strike out here yet again. Fourth strikeout. Ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. That's called the golden sombrero. Now that. Next to hit, DJ Stewart singled last time up. Now the three and two pitch he is in there. A called strike three. Guess who just wants to go home? The Baltimore yeah. Orioles. Adley Rutschman. Gregorius. Gregorius, Gregorius, Stevie has 27 home runs. Swing, high drive. Oh, we might at least. Yes. The track to the wall. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. At least we didn't get shut out, I guess. My God. A solo shot here to left. Fourth home run for him on the season, but they're gonna need a few more here as they're still well behind. Tell you the truth, I think the Yankee fans would actually cheer him. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Are He'd you kidding me? Game, but potentially go. There's two outs and we're down by 11. I mean, I'm sure it's happened. But I don't know. Not this far back. At the plate, Tyler Nevin. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. Proud of over 39,000 on their feet. Fouled off. Baltimore down to their final strike. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you gotta find a way to stay composed and execute. And that'll be it. And he will make the catch with ease, and the Yankees have taken the first three games in this four-game set. Oh, we got a four-game set. The ball game is over. 12 to 1. At Maybe we can one. get one win out of it, but I doubt it. Second inning and rode that until I mean, the very geez, end. this is this is just a team that's clicking. Gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year. Dylan Tate was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.